Hi there, Mickey D here. Hey, I just played sacrifice for you, and I like to go over what kind of symbols that I'm actually playing on. This is now a kit that I have in Sweden, in Scorpions, and when we tour, I do have a lot more symbols actually on there. Uh, it looks cooler too, and I got more to hit on. But anyway, this kit right here, I do play a, a Hyatt Sound Edge, 14 inch. I've been doing that since the day they start producing this symbol. It's my absolute favorite hi-hat that you possibly can play on because it's, uh, it's really heavy when you want it and it's really sticky when you need it to be. So it, it's a pretty wide hi-hat to me, you know. It's, uh, so I really love Sound Edge 14 inch. And then normally I have a 19 crash, sorry, a 20 full crash to my left and then a 19. Today here I only have a 19 power crash. No, this is actually a full crash, but it doesn't matter. A full or a power, 19 over my hi-hat. Here I usually have an 18 inch China symbol. Uh, it's all signature, of course, and uh, I use it for little quick hits, uh, not too much actually, but, but it's nice to have there. I, I really do use it live with a lot of double hits like that when you want that extra power. When you want to go to 11, that's when you use that one. Uh, normally up front here, 18 inch, two 18s, a full and a power crash is to prefer. Uh, these are being used all the time. So Unfortunately, I go through a lot of these babies, uh, but they are sounding just fantastic. And uh, I do get some uh, complaints from singers normally that they are too loud, they're too close to, <laughs> to the bloody singer, but that's okay. It's great. Uh, here, a splash, a 12 or a 10 inch is good, and it's only really a reference for myself. Uh, when we played with Motorhead, a lot of drummers could sit next to me and they said, wow, Mickey, I never saw you play that much on a splash, you know. You can't not really hear it, but it's for me. It's for the dynamics and for the feel of myself. And then a Power Ride 22, of course. I've been playing this since... Uh, John Wayne was wearing shorts, basically, so pretty long time. I love the bell. I love the symbol in general. Sometimes the symbol can bleed a little bit too much, but you learn how to handle this symbol because it's a pretty aggressive ride symbol. Uh, so you have to kind of learn how to, to play on this particular ride symbol. But I do love it, so it's a great symbol. When we come over here, it's normally a 20 inch China. This is the bad boy. This is the really splashy one that, that I use all the time. Uh, normally with Scorpions, I have a 14 and a 16 uh, China. Uh, just sitting right over the right symbol and one over here just straight and they are also just for a little reference for myself they don't really sound that much but they are nice to hit and it gives me a really nice dynamic feel when i play so it's basically for me it's not for the audience sorry but that's what happens and then on this side i reverse this side so there's always a 20 inch over my first floor 20 inch power crash or full crash, normally a power crash. And then behind that over my second floor, it's a 19 inch full or power crash. So it's reversed from what I have on my left side. So it's really not that complicated. It's quite a lot of symbols uh, and uh, they all sound great. And I use them for just particular places where, where I need it. Sometimes, as I said, it's not really for maybe the audience to hear it. It's just for myself to, to get groovy, to get into it. So it helps me a lot. I love Paiste. So there you have it. Bye-bye, boys and girls.